Welcome to the NFL Week 14 Sunday Slate Breakdown here at Lineups. I'm your host, Jacob Wayne, joined by Cody Malmstrom and Will Schwartz. Let's move on to the Houston Texans at the New York Jets. And oh. we, <laughs> we do have Zach Wilson back as the starter for the Jets this week. Announced this morning, spread for this game has been moved down. I think it opened closer to seven, maybe six and a half, uh, down to three and a half now. Total has also dropped dramatically, opened at 37, down to 33 points. Schwartz, you've been in on this Jets team at various points this season. Are you backing them here against this Texans team that I think we're all pretty big fans of? No, but I'm also not officializing anything at this time with the Texans on the road. The number I was looking at was five and a half. I'm leaning Texans uh, at, under that touchdown. But I think the Jets defense is such a moving target. They have the ability to do great stuff, but sometimes they just phone it in. And now Zach's back under center. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to make of that after the whole saga of him, like kind of not wanting to do that. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that at the NFL level. This game is going to be a complete pass for me uh, from both the side and total uh, perspective. Cause I just, I don't know what to make of the Jets defense at this point in the season. Pretty short and concise here, but I, I do like this Texans team. I just am not a huge fan of betting them on the road. If the Jets defense that it can be uh, shows up, that's always a tough proposition. Yeah, um, this is a pass for me, ultimately, but I'm excited to see how CJ Stroud reacts to playing this defense. This is one of the tougher matchups he's played all season uh, on the road against the Jets in what looks to be pretty rough weather conditions as well. So, going to be interested to see where his prop opens up. Might end up taking the under on his passing yards, which haven't done all season, but I think this is a good spot to fade him against a really difficult defense. And, of course, tanked out out for the year. Um Really sad news on that one. And I mean, Cody, if you want to talk about that at all, give him a eulogy or anything like that. But any thoughts on this game overall? Extremely rarely a non Lions related news like breaks my heart. Like breaks my heart. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I've been dieting, kind of getting a little healthy here um, over the past five days. <laughs> and um, it took three days. I broke. I, as soon as I saw, I got the text about the Tank Dell thing. Grabbed a cigarette, walked, took a lap outside. I, I was severely heartbroken. He's one of my favorite players, like literally ever, like in college. I was so excited to see how he was blossoming with CJ Stroud. And the worst part is, is this game screamed Tank Dell. Jets, heavy dose of cover too. Uh, we talked about it multiple times. The way you beat them, you throw underneath. You kind of get a Tyreek Hill type of player, and you just let them run wild in the open field. That was Tank Dell, and we just got robbed of it. Was it enough to keep me away? Um, to be honest, I didn't really have too much interest at the first place for how line this, how high the line originally was. But now it's kind of creeping down to where I kind of want to bet the Texans here. Even with Zach Wilson, I mean, he's mentally checked out. Like, we know this. He literally outright said, like, I don't want to even come back as a starting quarterback. I, so, like, where, where, where's he at now with leading this offense? And this Jets defense, while still have absolute dudes, like, great team, they're getting tired. They're They're regressing. We've talked about this. When you're on the field constantly, you can have the best defense in the world, but at some point you're going to get tired, sluggish, and teams are going to run on you. And now it's happening at an early rate for how horrible this jet stretch was. Now is it enough for Nico Collins and everyone else to kind of exploit? Uh, it's really, really tough because they're losing Dell. That's a huge dynamic uh, streaking across the middle. I might wait to see if this touches three. I highly doubt we'll get to three. If it does touch three, I am hitting the Texans. But um, as of right now, I'm just kind of going to monitor it and keep uh, weeping about my loss of Tank Dell. Yeah, uh, a lot of fantasy managers certainly right there with you in that Tank Dell depression. Um, was very excited to see how he was blossoming this season, and hopefully he gets to back to full health and continues to build on this connection with CJ Stroud because the future is bright in Houston. Yeah, should be a great Sunday slate. Hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully we can bring you some winning picks on this show. Stay tuned for our Sunday slate player prop video that comes out on Sunday morning. Shorts and I will have you covered with some more player prop picks for this week. Been on a nice run over there. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, stay tuned for our Monday night football coverage as well. Two Monday night football games this week. And that'll do it for us. Hope you guys enjoy the games and we'll catch you on the next one.